Hi everyone, this is Coach Lana checking in and today is day 7 of our 31 day cleaner eating challenge. So today we're going to talk about chemicals in our foods and convenience foods. We talked about whole foods yesterday and it's very similar topic, they're very very closely related but this one warrants a little bit more attention. So if we think about, um, I want to thank you very much first, let's get back to that, for joining me on this journey and for watching this video. Um, take everything with a grain of salt, it's just information, and you get to choose how you want to apply it to your life. I'm hoping that it helps you live a happier, healthier life. So let's dive right in. Chemicals in our foods. And most of the times when we find a lot of chemicals in our foods, we're going to find them in convenience foods. And convenience foods are foods like eating out, um, packaged foods, and frozen foods. So I said restaurant foods, I didn't say fast food. Because a lot of times I will ask somebody if they're eating fast food and they go, oh no, I never eat fast food. But they still might be eating restaurant type foods that are very highly processed. It's very rare to be able to find that. Don't kid yourself. Okay, when we're on this journey, don't kid yourself. Take the time to actually investigate what I'm telling you and make a choice on how it applies to your life. When I go to Veggie Grill, it's a vegan restaurant. So I can say, oh, well, that's totally healthy. But I might be choosing the chicken wings, you know, and putting it in the barbecue sauce and everything. It's a soy product. It's highly processed. But I'm not kidding myself and telling myself that's a healthy meal. That to me is like I'm eating out. I'm having junk food. So let that, um, you know, kind of bounce around in your brain. So what we want to really start to do is read your nutritional labels. And we've talked about that previously, but this time you want to look at the boxes, the packages, the frozen foods, and the online ingredients for all the restaurants that you're going out for. If the, your box of cereal, which I don't eat cereal and I recommend you stop eating it, if your box of cereal, the whole side of the box of the ingredients, and there are a bunch of things that you have a really hard time pronouncing and you don't recognize them, that's a problem. The chemicals that are in the foods mess with our biochemistry, our metabolism, and an interesting book that I've been listening to lately is um, Jillian Michaels' Master Your Metabolism, and she had read a lot of studies about how people who eat a lot of chemicals a lot of non-organic, so a lot of genetically modified foods have a higher risk of getting diabetes than overweight people. So your risk of diabetes is still really high if you're overweight, so I'm not saying not to take that seriously, but your risk of diabetes is also very high if you're eating a lot of chemicals and genetically modified foods. So that's something to take into consideration. That's another reason why we should be reading our labels. Well, if you're living on lean cuisine and Cheetos, and eating out a lot, this could seem like a really, really, really big task. So, like in every video, start small. My recommendation is always read your labels and start to learn to cook. You may hate learning to cook. I did too. But last year, May, um, when I became vegan, it was required. I had to learn to cook or I was going to starve to death. So, I started learning to cook. Make one new recipe a month. Separate it into, make a big batch, separate it into your meal size containers, put them in the freezer, and there you go. You've got your meals. Shop the outside aisles of the supermarket. Stay away from the middle where all the processed foods are. Stay with the fruits, stay with the vegetables, stay with the meats if you're a meat eater, and you're going to be a lot happier and a lot healthier. I would give it more than a day of trying this. You need to do at least a week or a month because then you're really going to feel the um, results. All right, so this is Lana, this is Coach Lana. Those are my two cents for today. Take it or leave it, but I hope you love it. And I am out of here. I'm going to work on the next video.